turns. Back gate's dropping out. Holy shit! I didn't see that coming. I mean, like, yes, he was the ultimate troll, and people have the opportunity. They can freak out over thing and respond. And if you want to do that, you don't have to. You better pace yourself, though, because it's not even Thanksgiving. And we don't have to react and take unserious things so seriously that the world's going to spin off its axis the way it is right now. But I, but I just heard something. I heard that Trump is going to issue a new silver dollar uh, to commemorate that. So I think that's going to be the next cycle. How about Mr. Second? Second. What? How about Mr. The Secretary of Defense that nominated? Uh, well, that's. That's for after Thanksgiving and then next year we can address that. And now there's some that I'm going to be supportive and voting and others that we're not. And then when that conversation starts, and that's going to be the time to have it. Do you think the House Ethics investigation should, should still come out on Matt Gates? Uh, I mean, it uh, doesn't, doesn't really matter anything to me. But uh, like I said, uh, for a total troll situation like that, I think pretty much everyone, we agree that that's what's happened and it's true. And that was never going to be a serious uh, situation already. So come out or not, I mean, he's not going to be the AG, but that was never going to be the case. Senator, you've shown some, at least, openness to voting for some of these picks in, in Trump's cabinet. Is there someone who you would vote to confirm as Attorney General? Not that, you know, President Trump is listening necessarily to Senate Democrats. Well, what I'm saying though is, I mean, re re reference to Gates. Like, I mean, well, well I mean, I've, I've been clear. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely going to vote for Rubio or Stefanik or, or Papal. And it's like, I'd like to remind everybody that you know, when the the side that wins, they get to pick the people. And you know, I hope and I expect that there's going to be enough that we can work together. And I'm, I'm looking for that. Uh, and then there's going to be some some picks that are unacceptable. But I also want to remind you that they have the majority in the Senate, and they are going to have the ability to you know, pick whoever they want. Does the that's, that's the reality. It math is math. Does the fact that Congressman Gates dropped out now move the attention to some of Trump's other picks, like Pete he Hegseth, like uh, 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 so it's, Tulsi so, Gabbard? So almost that was actually what, how they designed that to have like a troll or that kind of a situation and why that seems to put, to drive a cycle and like i said if, if you want to respond to that kind of a situation that's fine but i you know i refuse i'm not, i'm not that guy i'm you know and like i said it's not even 2025 yet so like i'm saying folks are gonna pace themselves on this because there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to freak out what about linda mcmahon Executive Secretary that Trump picked, do you have any concerns with her? There's concerns of alleged sexual abuse. Yeah, I'm going to say she definitely wouldn't be my first choice, or my second choice, or oh, third cool. choice, or fourth, uh, or fifth choice, or sixth, or seventh. But I, but I forgot they won, so they can pick these kinds of things. But how? I mean, how but, much? deference should be given to a Republican president to, to pick his cabinet? Where, where do you draw the line? Is it Matt Gates? Well, the, the line that's going to matter, ultimately, is how many votes they have for their nominee. And if they have if they have 52 uh, you know, or 53, then they, they're going to run the table in that situation. So that's the one that really doesn't matter. You know, my, my opinion, I think my opinion is really important and really, really important. But, but if they've got the 51 or 52 or 53 votes, then that's what's going to happen. Thank you, Thanks, Senator. Senator. Appreciate you coming over. That was a Those Steelers. John Fetterman. Yeah, well, of course, my hat. Thank you for reminding me that I forgot. <laughs> no, don't wear that hat here. I'm a Baltimore fan. tonight. <laughs>